fourth grade, we are ready for math lesson 159. Let's start off this morning with going over our concept cards once again. Go ahead and give me the answer, and then I will tell you the answer and see how many you can remember. See if you know all of them today. So first of all, what is the measurement of area? We talked about this yesterday. What are we measuring when we measure area? It is the measure of the amount inside of your shape. What shape is this? Rhombus. Parallelogram. Trapezoid. Angle. Parallel lines. Perpendicular lines. Simple closed curve. Polygon. Point. Line segment. Line. Ray. Right angle. Congruent angles. Intersecting lines. What is the formula for the perimeter of a square? P equals 4 times S. What about the perimeter of a rectangle? P equals, in parentheses, 2 times L plus, in parentheses, 2 times W. 1 yard equals how many feet? 3. 1 foot equals how many inches? 12. 1 leap year equals how many days? 366. 1 year equals how many months? 12. 1 week equals how many days? 7. 1 day equals how many hours? 24. 1 hour equals how many minutes? 60. 1 minute equals how many seconds? 60. 1 tablespoon equals how many teaspoons? 3. 1 millennium equals how many years? 1,000. 1 score equals how many years? 20. 1 decade equals how many years? 10. 1 cup equals how many fluid ounces? 8. 1 centimeter equals how many millimeters? 10. 1 meter equals how many millimeters? 1,000. 1 kilometer equals how many meters? 1,000. 1 hectometer equals how many meters? 100. 1 decameter equals how many meters? 10. 1 meter equals how many decimeters? 10. Hecto means 100. Deca means 10. Milla means 1,000th. Centa means 100th. Deca means 1 10th. Kilo means 1,000, and Roman numerals. We haven't had these for a while. Roman numeral for 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, 1,000, and 1 dozen e things equals how many things? 12 things. Okay, so yesterday we talked about area. What is area? Area is the measurement of the space inside a shape, whatever we are measuring. 
So today we're talking about finding the area of a rectangle. Now, we talked about how we can find the area of something by counting the square units, because remember, we're not just measuring length, we're measuring the square units of something. Like I had a square yard up on the board. So we could just count the squares inside of something to measure its area. But if we would do that all the time for all of our shapes and all of our rooms and everything that we're measuring, it would take a while to just count every square unit. So there is a quicker way that we can do that that we're going to learn about today. And we have a formula for that. So for today, for finding the area of a rectangle, what we need to do is to find the length of our rectangle and find the width of our rectangle and multiply them by each other. Now, the length of something is how long it is, which means it's the longer side. The width is the shorter side of, of your rectangle, okay? So take your length, cross the room, and multiply it by your width, and that is your area. So we have a formula for that to help us remember, and that is A equals L times W, because a area equals length times the width. So let's go ahead and work this. I have two sets of dimensions here for two different rectangles. The first one has a length of four feet and the second one and the width a width of three feet. The second one has a length of nine inches and a width of six inches. So let's go ahead and write this down. We have area equals length times width. That is our formula. Whenever you want to find the area of a rectangle, that is what you should use. So now we have area equals four is our length, four feet, times three is our width, three feet. So just copy that down. After you write your formula, go ahead and copy it and put your numbers in in place of the letters. And then figure out your answer. Four times, tw four times three equals 12. So our answer is 12 feet. Now our unit is feet, but Remember, we're not just measuring length. So our answer is not just 12 feet long. It's 12 square feet. Because when we measure area, we're measuring squares inside of something. So you have to make sure that you write square feet in your answer. And a shorter way than writing the whole word square is to just write SQ dot. And then whatever your unit is. So 12 square feet. Now let's go ahead and work our next problem. So what is our formula for finding the area of a rectangle? A equals L times W. Now, whenever you work these problems, do not work them in your head. Even if you can, do not just work them in your head. Write your formula down. A equals length times width. And then on the second line, write it again. A equals, put your numbers in, nine times six. Then write your third line. A equals 54. We are measuring area, so it is square feet. It has to be square feet. It cannot just be feet. Area is not just measuring length. It's measuring the squares inside of something. So 54 square feet is our answer. Okay? So just a few facts about area. When you measure inches, it's square inches. Feet is square feet. Yards is square yards. Meter is square meters. It's not that hard to write sq dot feet, sq dot meters, whatever it is. You need to write square. So in your lesson, when they give you the dimensions, use your formula, copy it down, write each line, and remember, inches times inches is square inches. Feet times feet is square feet. Meters times meters equals square meters. And miles times miles equals square miles. So work your lesson carefully. Let me know if you have any questions. Remember to write down your formula, and in your answer, give your square unit, square feet, square yards, whatever it is that you are working with. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in language class.